everyone, welcome back to Bolts Tutorials. Now, you may notice that something is different. Yeah, the futon's not there anymore. I uh, got rid of it. It's got started to get really uncomfortable. Anyway, this week's episode is all about camera rigs. Let's get started. Camera rigs. Now this isn't to be confused with the monopod, the jib, or the slider. No, this is handheld steady cam stuff. On this episode, we're not we're going to build not one, but two camera rigs. First, I'm gonna talk about the camera rigs I've purchased and why. First up is the spider steady. This rig is made specifically for DSLRs and has plenty of ways to use it. It has a quarter inch insert for tripods or monopods and space to add extra gear. This rig, uh, this, the Spider Steady was about uh, $55 on Amazon. Um, it's pretty nice. It has a, a lot of creative uses for it. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot. I think I've used it once uh, for a shoot Justin and I did. Um, but with the music video coming up and uh, my short film, um, it should, it probably should get more use, it probably will. Uh, now I know what you're thinking, uh, Tom's gonna build a shoulder rig, well you're wrong, because there are 7,000 plus tutorials on how to build a shoulder rig. Uh, Dave Knopp, uh, Film Riot, Parker Mainborg, Indy Mogul, uh, you name it. So, uh, if you wanted to learn how to build a shoulder rig, uh, I got a link to a bunch of uh, shoulder rig tutorials down in below. But for me, I'm gonna pass. Alright, next up is the Velo Action Pan. It's made for shots like running and jogging. It has an adjustable quarter inch bolt with a quarter inch insert for tripods and monopods and an accessory shoe. First, we're going to build a no hands camera rig. What that is, is a pole that straps around your neck and waist, and the camera sits in front of you. Griffin on Indiemogo built a pretty cheap DIY version of what he saw at the South, South by Southwest Film Festival. So let's see what I can do. Here's what you need. PVC pipe and end cap, half inch nut and bolt, belt, lanyard, and carabiner. Measure the length between your waist and eye line diagonal, then cut the PVC at an inch longer than, then, then cut a large gap at an inch at the end of the pipe. I recommend using an electric Dremel tool. I have a battery powered one and it's not powerful enough. So I used a large drill bit and worked my way down. This is not recommended. Then drill a half inch hole in the end cap and place the half inch nut and bolt inside. Now let's put this together. Start with putting on the belt and lanyard with the carabiner. Next, place the PVC pipe with the gap side down onto the belt through the carabiner. Take the end cap with the half inch nut and bolt. If you have a removable tripod, you'll be able to place it on here. You can also use a ball head adapter if you have one. With this, you now have more flexibility while working with the camera. Obviously, this thing isn't meant for running or walking, but it's great for handheld interviews and long shots or scenes or whatever you're filming. It's great for it. Next, we're going to build a glide cam. You need pretty much the same pieces, PVC pipe and end cap, half inch bolt, zip ties, and weights. 
the amount depending on how much your camera weighs. Drill two holes about two inches apart on the piece of wood. I'm using a part of a shop light I have, but use a piece of wood. Drill a small hole at about three centimeters up from the PVC pipe. Then use zip ties to secure it to the wood. Then add some counterweight and the end cap and secure your camera on top and start making beautiful films. Wow, that was fast. Am I right? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Bolt's Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to the Thunderbolt Films YouTube channel and like the Thunderbolt Films Facebook page. Also, for those who remember Jared from the Lighting and Interviews episode, he's got his own YouTube channel now, so uh, head on over there and give him a sub. Thanks for watching, take care.